Welcome back to my channel, Persephone's Reign. I'm Ebony, and as you can see, I am not on camera today. I decided to kind of switch it up a bit and give you guys a view of my top 10 paintings that I have done and why. Um, I figured I would just share with you some paintings that I really enjoyed creating and explain what they represent to me in no particular order. Just the top 10 that I really had a fun time creating and I enjoy looking at. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. This here is called All the World's a Stage. This one is really interesting and I like this one a lot because it plays with the viewer a little bit. Um, as you can see, the painting is a depiction of the inside of a theater. These gray ripples uh, down at the bottom those are the seats facing the front of the stage, which is set up in kind of an outdoorsy um, or outdoor scene. So if you can like see the stars up at top and the trees and the boulders. Uh, the twist on this painting though, is that the audience member is looking at the stage through curtains over their own eyes. Um, I see this painting as life is what you make it and how you perceive it. You can pretend and play a role in your life or show up as your true self and really engage with it. And what we've got next is titled For You. This is one of my earlier paintings. I started this painting with kind of that stormy blue background color to reflect the complicated emotions um, that I'm trying to depict in the painting. Um, what you see here is Kind of a person holding out their heart like they're presenting their heart to someone uh, I wanted to make the heart a little more realistic but I was struggling a bit and so this is how it ended up but I think it's still pretty cute um, but this painting represents for me a feeling where you're in a situation and you feel like maybe you're giving much more than you were getting back from the connection um, and it reflects for me a place in the past where I just really wanted to be loved and I was willing to give up so much of myself to others in an effort to have that love reciprocated. And so this was how I decided to depict that, um, with this painting for you. This here is titled The Bee. Um, this one is pretty interesting because in 2020, I had the rare opportunity to pet a bumblebee and it was a really cool experience. Uh, it felt very magical and I had never done anything like that before or even thought it was possible. So I wanted to immortalize that experience somehow and that's what this painting is all about. Um, once again, the bee. And this painting is titled Urban Wallflower. Uh, there's no real story to this one. Um, I just really loved the rush graffiti street art look to it. Um, this is another one of my earlier paintings. So it holds a special place in my heart because it was something from when I was just starting out with painting. And I really like that gritty simplicity of it and the colors that I use. Um, I like that kind of dark, stark black outline followed by the yellow and the flower and then that random, just light, light blue in the middle of the flower. Um, I thought it was really cool when I did this one. This next painting is titled The World's on Fire. This is my depiction of the earth burning up. Um, this one is my take on how I was feeling about things going on in society as well as across the globe. Uh, there was a lot of civil unrest, discontentment, violence, trauma, and so on. And to me, I've always said that sometimes we have to burn things down to kind of rise out of the ashes like a phoenix. And that's pretty much what this painting represents. I, I feel like this painting is really calling to attention my feelings about the tragedies that are prevalent in modern society and my interpretation of kind of clearing out the old to make way for something new. All right, and this beautiful piece 
is called Sankofa. Um, this painting has a very interesting story. I didn't really know where I was going to go with this one. I started by just painting the canvas in this pretty dark blue color. And then I went in with that kind of turquoisey teal color in this really big swooping fluid motion from top to bottom. And I left it mostly bare from there and came back the next day and saw something in the movement of that color. And I just pictured this regal bird. So I went ahead and completed the feathers and the crown and the bird's face. And later on, I was told that it was reminiscent of the Sankofa bird, which I then learned in Ghana means to go back and get. And it represents knowing and honoring your past to move forward. So I thought that was so beautiful. And so this piece was named. This lovely painting is called Soulmates. I learned that some penguins mate for life. And I made this piece um, after I kind of set the foundation with the blue and the white paint. Um, this was another painting that I started not really knowing what I was going to paint initially. And um, I just started the background first and came back later to complete it. And that white against the blue kind of looked to me like snow against a water's edge. And so I decided to throw some happy little penguins on the canvas. And I just think they're so super cute. This painting is titled Buried. Um, this is a symbolic representation of how I felt after the ending of a very significant relationship that... Um, I had high expectations for. Uh, this was my way of kind of coming to terms with the loss. Um, I added some beauty to it by creating these pretty roses up at the top uh, because, you know, sometimes bad stuff happens, but good stuff can still come of it. All right, this here is called Nightscape. This painting is pulled from my imagination. Um, it is a depiction of my dream house bathed in moonlight. I imagined uh, that, I imagined what it might look like to peer out the window and see the moon bright and hanging low and full. And I really enjoyed working on the night sky in this one. Um, I added some silver to the moon and a little gray to create shadows in the clouds. I'm not sure if the camera's really picking that up, but I had a really good time um, just kind of playing around with the sky in this. So once again, this is Nightscape. And last but not least, this here is called Connection. Uh, this painting is another one that didn't look like this at first, Originally, I had traced my handprint in red on the middle of the canvas and later on I didn't really like it so I darkened in the back of the handprint and I added some stars and filled in the palm of the hand to kind of depict a hand coming out from the canvas. So it's almost as though someone or something is reaching out from the ether, um, which gives it a really extraterrestrial vibe. And I love that. So this is it. I loved sharing these paintings with you. Um, I loved creating these paintings. They're very special and near and dear to my heart. And I hope to continue to create even more paintings, both on camera and off to share with you all. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. I had a great time just kind of getting behind the camera and sharing these paintings with you and just making another video for you all. Uh, if you've stayed up until this point, I just want to let you know, I'm sorry that I've been MIA for a little bit, but I'm ready to come back with even more great content for you. Thanks again. Bye.